Hi everyone, I'm Antoinette. This is Board Game Inquisition, the place where I love giving you insights and information about the board games you might just want to have in your own collection someday. So are you in the mood to gather up some friends and take on a dragon? Well if so, welcome to the Kickstarter preview for the very small and the very rattly Dice of Dragons. Dice of Dragons is a cooperative game where you gather your friends to steal coins from a rather fearsome dragon. On your turn you'll roll a handful of dice and match the sword or energy symbols to activate your character's abilities. You can also roll banners to get help from allies and if you don't like what you roll take your chances by rolling some dice again. But watch out for those three fire symbols or your turn ends and the dragon attacks. Stealing the dragon's coins increases your hit points and reduces theirs. But is that enough to claim victory? Thing one, what's this game all about? So Dice of Dragons has you gather your friends together and work cooperatively to steal coins from a dragon. It's got a kind of fantasy vibe going on as the kind of roles you can play are all fantasy based. So you could be a cleric, a wizard, a rogue, you know, all that kind of stuff. So the theme isn't really the most original thing it's got going on here. Now, similar games to this, well, you might think of other Mint Tin titles like Mint Tin Mini Skullduggery, where you are rolling dice to kind of achieve your aims, um, or also something like King of Tokyo or King of New York, um, where you're rolling dice and keeping some and re-rolling others. So while this game shares some of those mechanics, I do think it's bigger in scope. Thing two, what kind of actions are you going to be taking on your turn? So Dice of Dragons is a fully cooperative dice rolling game where you roll dice to make symbols, use the symbols to perform your actions, and those actions take gold from the dragon. Hmm, all good, except not all the symbols you roll are good. For instance, you roll three flames, the dragon's going to come and attack you. Um, now, the dragon token is interesting because when you're attacked, it sits in front of you. And if the dragon is still there next round, they'll attack you again. Um, and the dragon's ferocity increases with the rounds. It's got its own dra dragon dice, which goes up in numbers, so it'll do more damage over time. The good news is, though, that if someone else damages the dragon, um, it it'll move and sit in front of them instead. So part of the puzzle is how you maneuver the dragon in all sorts of ways to take as little damage as possible. Now, my favorite part of this game is how hit points work because the character's hit points um, are based entirely on the number of coins you've taken from the dragon. Um, so this makes for awkward scenarios because yes, okay, you'll attack the dragon and it'll give you more hit points. But every time you lose hit points, you're further away from finishing off the dragon. Um, and not to mention the fact that you may want certain characters to take damage or perhaps even to get knocked out just so fewer coins are sent back to the dragon pool. Um, and don't worry, your character will get knocked out, but there is definitely ways to come back. So that's all positive. The cooperative element here is a really, really fun one because another option you can roll on the dice is the banner symbol. And that allows somebody else in your party to roll your dice um, and they can decide whether they want to return them to you or not. So you can maybe, you know, plan ahead and get a better next turn for somebody. You could also have someone else hold onto a fire symbol for you and continue rolling dice. Um, or you can, you know, help somebody out and hand all the dice back and make for an exceptional turn. It means the game is very cooperative and you really do have to work together. Um, overall, this game may be all about the dice, but it's really about the teamwork. Thing three on the table. So this one is tiny when you set it up and really should we expect anything less of a game that fits inside a mint tin? The good news is, however, that makes it incredibly portable, easy to set up, easy to put away, and it takes up little to no space whatsoever. Interestingly enough for such a small game, this takes quite a bit of time to play. Um, it takes over an hour for two of us to get through it. And the rule book definitely needs some work, but this is pre-Kickstarter, so I'm sure it's not entirely finalized just yet. Now, replayability wise, um, I think there's tons here because it is the nature of this game to be rolling dice and things, but also there are a variety of characters, a special dragon you can fight with more going to be included in the Kickstarter as well. So there's lots here to unravel, unpack and enjoy. Thing four, how does this game look and feel? 
So I have a prototype copy. Um, so the dice that you see photographed in the pictures and things like that aren't the final versions. Um, they're going to be nice chunky plastic ones or so I've been told. Um, but despite the fact that this game has so few components, all of them do feel rather special. I like the fact that it all fits in a tin. I think that appeals to a particular type of gamer. Um, I really like the chunky dice. They were a good size and nice to roll. The dragon gets its own cool token with flippable sides. Um, and while there's not a ton of art in this game, I do feel like the components are top notch. Thing five, is this game actually any good? So I'm sure up until this point, you've been assuming that this is a game where you're just gonna roll dice, have a laugh, it'll be quick and fun and easy, and then you'll go and play something else afterwards. Well, allow me to be the first to assure you that this game does not suffer fools lightly. It is incredibly, incredibly hard. The first time I played it, we played for 90 minutes trying to slog it out versus the dragon. And I was so focused on just trying to stay alive that there was never time or space to just use my abilities to try and, you know, sway things in my favor. Um, it was rough. The dragon wiped the floor with us. Um, but I swore vengeance. I was like, we have to beat this thing. So we sat down and we had a look at the characters um, and we decided who was going to play which and in what order. At two player, you play two characters each, which is actually kind of fine. I, it, it suited me well. Um, and we were deciding how we were going to do this. And we wanted to focus more on those banner dice because I think they really change your turns. And deciding when and how to use them is really important. So we slogged it out um, and it was a very long and arduous battle versus the dragon. Um, and of course, this, this game is quite swingy as well because we'd, we'd be kind of getting everything together and getting very close and then somebody would roll three flames and then one thing would fall apart and something else would and then it's the dragon sitting back on all of its hit points. Um, it's just so, so hard. But with careful planning and due diligence, we did defeat it in the end. Um, and wow, does it feel amazing when you beat this thing, just because it is so, so difficult. Um, I love how this game is put together. You think it's something other than it is. It's an it's a absolutely challenging cooperative puzzle and cooperative in the best way. You really do interact with your other players and you really do work as a group to achieve this goal. And I really, really like that. Um, my only issue with this game is how long it takes to play and it does feel long and by putting itself at this kind of time slot it, it puts itself you know in a competitive situation with games of a similar length. Um, the good news is however if you really like mint tin games as is and you wanted a broader and deeper experience then this is something you probably want to look at. Do I think you should have Dice of Dragons in your collection? This is a really unusual game. If you want to combine dice rolling and cooperative play in a really challenging puzzle, then go and check it out on Kickstarter on May the 25th. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. Why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about my future videos? Or if you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about Dice of Dragons, why not shout them off in the comment box below? I'd really love to hear from you. And until next time, tune in again for some more short and informative board game reviews.